What's up trainers? Have you battled Sierra 2.0 yet? Yes, Sierra has upgraded her team and has become one of the toughest to beat amongst the rocket leaders with her double Lapras team. In this edition, we will explore a few ways to take down Sierra's double Lapras using a budget team and maybe one example with a legendary Pokemon. So in these battles, we will be using a debuffing strategy, which is one of my favourites. In our first example, we will be leading with Articuno, Alolan Mark, and Marchem. Okay, this Lapras has Frost Breath as his fast move, which is doing a lot of damage. So we won't be able to get up to an Icy Wing in time and we'll have to make the switch to Alolan Mark. You will have to equip your Alolan Mark with Acid Spray for this strategy to work, as it will guarantee a 2 stage drop in defense, regardless of shield. If you don't have Alolan Mark, on the left, are some viable Pokemons that spots Acid Spray too. Since we can expect both shields to be used up front, we will Acid Spray again before Alolan Mark goes down. Now we will let the timer run its course for the benefit of resetting our switch clock as we prepare to bring in Marchem, building up on energy here and wait for Lapras to fire off its charge move. In doing so, we will get a split second where the NPC will freeze. This will give us the opportunity to throw in a few fast moves. Only hit your charge move once you hear the first frost breath coming in. You can also take advantage of this NPC freeze during a switch and also after a Pokemon faints like you see here. So as the first Lapras goes down, we are able to get off to another cross chop. And it sounds like this second Lapras is running with Water Gun. As our switch clock is ready, we will bring back Articuno to dish out Icy Wind, which has a guaranteed debuff on the opponent's attack by one stage. If you do not have Articuno, you can also consider the more commonly accessible Cloyster or Glaceon. But do bear in mind that you will have to max out Cloyster, as it is just under the 2500 CP range. In any case, I haven't maxed out my Articuno yet, and it works just fine at under 2500 CP. So Articuno goes down after firing off two icy winds, which is great. Machem comes back in to build up on energy and to finish off this Lapras with a cross chop. Sierra's final Pokemon is Houndoom. And although Machem's health is quite low, we are high on energy. And with a couple more cross chops, we should be able to chip away at Houndoom's health to take the game. If you're not a fan of Articuno or Icy Wind, the budget option is Polyrush. In the next frame, we will look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the first match against Lapras. On the left is the Articuno lead that we just saw, and on the right, is the Polyrath lead. So while Articuno is not able to get up to Icy Wind, Polyrath is able to get up to Ice Punch to take down the first shield. Polyrath will throw in a couple of punches before switching over to Alolan Mark. So we see both Alolan Mark dishing out Acid Spray to take down the second shield almost at the same time. While waiting for Marchem to come in on the left, a loader mark on the right is able to get off to a dark pulse. It doesn't do much and a loader mark will go down. Similarly, we will let the timer run down and look to bring in Marchem on the Polyrath lead. Meanwhile, on the Articuno lead, Marchem has already shielded the attack from Lapras and looking to finish it off with a cross chop. And the Machem on the Polyrath lead is right behind with a cross chop of his own to take down Lapras. So in this frame freeze, we can see both Machem with almost the same amount of health left, but with slightly more energy on the Articuno lead. We will now continue the match with the Polyrath lead. Sounds like the second Lapras in this match is running Frost Breath. So we will dish out another Cross Chop and throw in a few counters 
before switching over to Polyrath. Polyrath is able to build up to a dynamic punch during the switch freeze. And this should do a chunk of damage to Lapras. And now we are going to get up to an Ice Punch to chip away at Lapras health. It doesn't do much as Ice is doubly resisted by Lapras. On retrospect, we might have been able to get off to another Dynamic Punch. Anyway, here comes the third Ice Punch. And this should take Lapras down. Alakazam comes in, and that is bad news for us as we are left with two fighters that are super weak against Psychic types. So after Polyrath deals this Ice Punch, we will switch over to Machamp to take advantage of the Switch Freeze. Machamp is able to build up to a Rock Slide. And this brings Alakazam's health meter down to the yellow zone. We are trying to get up to a cross chop, but is quickly taken down by the confusion damage coming in. So Polyrath comes back in, and is able to get up to another Ice Punch. Will this be enough? Yes, and with a sliver of health left, Alakazam goes down. Of course, this match would have been easier if it was a Houndoom in the back, but I am happy to be able to pull it off with this team. For our final match, we will spot a slightly different team composition. Starting off with Magnezone to build up on energy, and then switching over to Alolan Mark, using the same strategy to burn away the shields with Acid Spray. And in the back, we have Scizor, chosen for its fast charge to Night Slash, and its ability to handle Sierra's other possible lineups like Executor, Alakazam, and even Shifri. And with this second Acid Spray, both shields will be down. There seems to be enough health left on Alone Mark to build up to a Dark Pulse. But not before Lapras gets off its charge move. It is a Skull Bash which has a guaranteed buff to its defense by one stage. And now, we are able to fire off a Dark Pulse. But it is not enough to take down Lapras. So a little mark goes down, and as soon as the timer runs down, we will bring in Sizer to finish off Lapras with a Night Slash, and also to prepare for Magnezone to switch in. So Lapras goes down, and Sizer is able to build up some energy before switching over to Magnezone. With two wall charge ready, we are going to fire them off back to back. It is super effective. And the next one will take out Lapras. In comes Houndoom, and Magnezone goes down. Sizer comes back in and is almost able to build up to 2 Night Slash. Dishing out the first one. And it is not very effective as Houndoom is also a part Dark type. But Night Slash is very spammy. So we are looking to chip away at Houndoom's health with just Night Slash. A couple more should do the trick. This should be the final Night Slash to take down Houndoom and win the match. And we got the boost at the end! How nice! Alright! This wraps up this edition on defeating Sierra's Double Lapras team. How have you been doing against her team? And which Pokemons do you use? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video has helped you in your battles against Ciara, do remember to give me the thumbs up. Up next will be my battle against the boss himself, Giovanni, featuring Shadow Suicune.
I know many of you have been searching for it, so do subscribe and be notified when that video comes out. In the meantime, go take down that Double Abra's team with confidence and I will see you in the next one!